Hello everybody, just for, this is Roger Hansen, um, just for a quick update on everything that's going on with our con uh, condensation experiment. I had, or I was, taking temperature readings for each day during the first two weeks that I did the experiment with the aluminum pot. We had first taken the aluminum pot and set it by itself without anything inside of it and only a small piece of plastic over the top of the lid of it not down around the sides and we did that so that we could see if any condensation could form within the pan or the pot without anything inside of it and without anything protecting the outside of the pot we waited a week and there were no results. That's pretty much how I expected it to turn out. Just to make things, you know, pretty much, just just so that everything could be done correctly, I uh, went ahead and went one step further with that and I surrounded the entire pot, which is aluminum, with a plastic bag, a, a, or a plastic, I just surrounded it. Still, we didn't put anything inside of it, and we left it out for a week. Again, there were no results. Now, after doing those controlled experiments, just to show that nothing is produced within this pot without any kind of anything that's biological, like uh, clippings or dirt or anything without any of that inside of it it does not produce condensation so after two weeks we finally opened it up and I went out back and I got some grass clippings from a neighbor who mows his yard and puts it out by a tree I got three bags of it of clippings and put them in a Ziploc baggies and then I took holes and I poked them in the sides of the Ziploc baggies before I put the grass clippings in we zip we we tightened the Ziplocs and we put them into the pot and then covered the pot all the way around like like the second time with plastic First, I put a rope around the bottom half, and there were no results when it came to condensation. That was after a week. No results whatsoever. So, the second week with the grass clippings inside of it, I took a second rope, and I tied it around the top of the pot and left the one down at the bottom tied around it as well. That's when condensation started to be produced we had that in there for about two weeks when we had problems with the weather it started raining and water was collecting on the top and causing the plastic to sink down I took the water and got it off we tightened everything back up and did it back the way it was and started over and during that period was when we actually stopped taking daily temperatures which we should have done but instead I figured I'd let the experiment continue so we took and we got it all back in shape and instead of it being out in front of our uh, storage shed like it was out in the open under the sun I brought the pot up onto the porch where it was protected from rain and from that point on it collected condensation. Now I compared that with the big planter that we covered with uh, plastic and put dirt inside of it which is a bigger scale so it's not really fair to say if it works or not but I compared the condensation and it appears to me that dirt produces more condensation than grass clippings. My next step is going to be taking, oh, by the way, when we had to pull the pot out of the sun or out of the weather 
and redo all the plastic and everything I took one bag of grass clippings out so it went from three bags of glass grass clippings to two and just from my point of view with a four gallon pot aluminum pot it seems that two of those Ziploc baggies produced more condensation than what three of them inside of it did it just that's from observation though but uh, I could be wrong with that said when I compared the two of them that's what I got with the dirt in the potter compared to the grass clippings in the pot it just seems that dirt produces more condensation so my next step would be to replace the grass clippings with dirt inside of the pot and see how that works out. I'm also going to do some other experiments concerning this with a smaller potting uh, with a potting uh, container that has a drain on the bottom for extra water. I'm going to take plastic and I'm going to put it around that and I'm going to run wires up, up above the top where the plastic surface is. That is because recently I found out that there's two kinds of condensation and one of them is condensation that's got bubbles and they are the ones that are really easy for transferring heat in and out. Now you have the second kind of condensation that's really, really white and dense and it, I don't know if the camera was good at showing the surface of the, the planter with the plastic over it or not, but it uh, has real fine foam-like condensation on the inside of the plastic where the, the soil's at. Now that is harder to transfer heat out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run wires first to see if wires can help to transfer the heat out of the area. And if that doesn't work then I'm going to move on to pipes because I heard that pipes are really good if you put them in certain areas of the container. So those are my plans and this next time I'm going to try to be a little bit better. I don't really have a lot of measurement tools to help me out with temperature and with weight because if I did I would weigh the grass clippings before I put them into the pot and then compare that to what they were when I took them out. <clears throat> um, later on I'll redo the experiment when I do have those tools but until then I'm going to keep going forward with what I found. I did notice that in the the planting area that I have with the the soil, the bigger one, I uh, put a, a, a old uh, metal guard over the inside of it, over the top of where the soil is, and I did that to keep the plastic off of the dirt. Well, I turned around and I, I observed it, and as time went by, it seems to me that rust is forming really, really quick on the inside. Sometimes it's gotten to the point where condensation was, there was so much condensation in that container that, that the condensation was leaking out onto the side where I have the plastic tied up and it was dripping off onto the ground below the container. I'm finding this very interesting. I am completely amazed with how condensation works. It's really changed my whole way of thinking with this experiment. I'm going to see what I can do and see what kind of changes I can make. My whole question is, is there a way that I could harness this condensation to make it useful? And another question is, can I make the environment safe and easy for plants to grow in? So with that, I am going to get off of here. Sorry I didn't update and let everybody know. This time, I actually recorded my voice so that I could let everybody 
understand a little bit better what it is that me and my brother is trying to do. I'm doing these videos for my brother because he is not able to read and write and I help him out. So that's why I'm on here making a complete fool out of myself. Thank you for your time and if you guys would like to watch any of my other videos on my other channels feel free to check those out i have one channel called the strange the bizarre the unusual i like it i'm starting a new series on there it's a reviews of all the odd things that i've found on my facebook page in my google plus page and my minds.com page about the strange bizarre and unusual things that ranges from ghosts to UFOs to Sasquatches, sea creatures, people with elastic skin. We like to consider ourselves more like Ripley's Believe It or Not than anything else. And that's, that's how it works out. If you guys are on any of those websites, feel free to join us. We would welcome you with open arms. I've also got another channel called The Praetorium. And there I discuss things that are political, you know, social changes, all that, um, have commentaries, it's all strictly no BS, we don't get involved with stuff like Trump or Hillary Clinton or any of the fake news crap, and it's just things that I've researched and I actually know that's facts and I post about them and that's what it's all about it's about get, getting rid of all of the stuff that's just not real and finding out what reality really is about and that includes our history I bring up things that occurred back in in history that have never been mentioned you know and it should have been mentioned and that's just the way I do things on that channel so if you guys like what you hear, please check them out. If you like that, like, subscribe, and share if you can. Same with this video. Thank you. You have a good day.